Hello everybody. Today I thought I'd try something a bit different. This is one of our local ponds. <laughs> Some people walking past there. Uh, quite deep. I'll give you a sort of look at it. It's quite beautiful. Uh, peaceful, maybe not, because there's a tremendous amount of noise which you can probably hear from the traffic. Uh, some people fishing over there. Also from airplanes. Um, there were some geese a minute ago which I was zooming in on. They seem to have gone. I think the trees are just beginning to change as autumn approaches. So I'll talk to you while you can enjoy <laughs> these views. People say that awakening is a remarkably simple and easy thing to do. Now, if that's the case, why do people find it so difficult? Maybe because they're still looking within the realm of the intellect. trying to work it out. It has to be a perfect formula for it to work. If your true self is not residing in your intellectual functions as part of yourself, obviously, it becomes the predominant part then you lose the fullness of your true being. The people are just looking and looking and looking for the formula that they can apply to their lives which will make it all alright and then apply to the world to make it all alright. and they don't find it. They do find a formula, they argue with everybody else who disagrees with it. Now to say that you are something It's actually illusory. You can say I am a communist or a humanist or a Christian or a Buddhist or a Hindu. And that's a little formula. If you examine it closely, 
even if you're an atheist and materialist, you find that it breaks down. Because there's no mysterious Christian thing attached to you, which you can see, or communist thing, or Buddhist thing. Where is it? All you can say is that you have a certain set of beliefs and go to certain places. But to say that I am that, and identify with that, is a form of shorthand for the brain to work out things. But the reality is not the same as the shorthand. Yet people think it is. And so identify with whatever it is that they've set up. Maybe they haven't set up it up. Maybe they've been indoctrinated from birth in some religion or philosophy or other. Or maybe they've indoctrinated themselves. say I am a Christian is uh, actually the more you examine it the more meaningless it becomes. Yes you can say well I go to church and I have a certain set of beliefs or I say it goes for any of the uh, labels. And people are seeking all the time to find a, a model, a template, so they can explain their reality. And the only drawback with that is that it blinds you to reality. Say if I was a scientist, a biologist, which I'm not, <laughs> again, I am a scientist. And you might be looking at this scene and explaining it in terms of its geology, its biology, its social situation, these people fishing, blah de blah de blah de blah. But what you'll miss, and I said nothing wrong with that, good fun sometimes, but I have a sort of feeling that my memory card has run out. I'll see when I get home.